Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Peak Bucker Designs. I've got another tune-in project for you. This is such a fun bundle. You've got the TV and all these little fun um, accessories kind of to go with it. Um, and the stamps are great too, some really good sentiments. I've got two other videos featuring this bundle if you're looking for ideas. Hop back to my blog, grab the free PDF and check out the other two projects. So what's inside my box, you ask? Well, how about some Jelly Belly Popcorn Jelly Beans. I think that's so fun, um, a fun little surprise type gift. Um, these would make great party favors. Um, you know, I think about the kids at school, this would make a fun treat at school too. All right, let's make our box. First, I am using Daffodil Delight, and I am using a piece that measures eight by seven. Um, this piece is almost a square, so you're going to have to really pay attention to what you're doing um, so you get the measurements on the right side. On the 8-inch side, you're going to score it at half an inch and at 1 inch, then 4 and a fourth, and 4 and 3 fourths, okay? Then turn it to the short side, the 7-inch side, and that's going to be half, 1 and six and a half. Okay, the first side we're gonna work on is that eight inch side, okay? Um, the eight inch side is the one that has the score lines down the middle. Let's get our bone folder. Actually, before we do that, let's do some stamping. Um, I am using, I forgot to mention, two other stamp sets. I am using the little polka dot from Round We Go and the sketch plaid background. Um, this polka dot is so cute. We're gonna stamp the polka dot in Daffodil Delight as well. And you're gonna stamp it. You can stamp it all over the box if you want, but I'm just gonna focus right here on this. Um, this will be the front of our box, the side that is opposite of those two sections, the short, the half inch sections on that side. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of just go around in a loose pattern. Don't stress too much about it being perfect. It definitely doesn't need to be perfect. It's in the background and it's just kind of gonna kind of add to the whimsy of your project. All right, there we go. Okay, now get your bone folder and let's burnish those lines. Your bone folder is gonna help you have a nice crisp fold and your box is going to be nice and square. And your bone folder will do a better job than your fingers. I use my fingers sometimes, but that bone folder really does a job. Okay, back to this side, um, the side that has the middle score lines. The first thing that we're gonna do is cut off these two rectangles above where we stamped, all right? So take your scissors and cut those off. Now we're gonna cut off this little square and we're gonna cut in so that this little flap right here is still attached, okay? So cut in and then cut that square off. Now do the same thing over here. We're actually gonna cut these end ones off. So just go ahead and cut those off. But see how we have a flap here? We want this flap as well, like that. All right, I need my smaller scissors. Um, you wanna cut off the corners right here and right here. Now I left a little bit of a snag there. Okay, so this is what we have so far. This is going to be the part that closes in on your box. Now down here, all you're gonna do is snip these score lines. Snip, 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 and then this one is gonna come off. And when I cut it, I'm cutting it at an angle. This, we're gonna put a piece of here on this end, and if you cut the corners off, it just makes it fit a little bit better. All right, so if you, I always say, if you need to pause the video to look at the piece so you can cut yours, similarly, go ahead, now's your chance. Okay, I'm gonna grab tear and tape, 
And I'm gonna take my tear and tape and run it down this skinny part right there. Whoops, I just tore a little bit of my box. All right, and now we're gonna fold this in and we're gonna fold this over and they should line up perfectly. And now you can see it looks kind of like a candy box. Um, down here, you're going to fold in the sides, the back, and then fold in the front. That's gonna give you a nice rounded edge on that front edge. I made my adhesive too short, but for the sake of the video, we're going for it. All right, so fold that over like that. And there's your candy box. So let's put our jelly beans in and you'll close those sides and then fold in that. And there you have it. Okay, now let's do the fun part, the TV. Um, this is a larger photopolymer stamp. And I find that when I am stamping large photopolymer stamps, I sometimes need to put a piece of foam underneath my um, workspace so that my stamp um, gets a good, nice, even kind of cushion. Sometimes when I stamp on my desk or my counter, it's so hard that the, the stamp doesn't stamp all the way around. So put a little piece of foam underneath and stamp it. Memento black on real red. Now we're gonna cut out, that's all we need for that. We're gonna cut this out. We've got a matching die right here. And then I've got a piece of white. We're gonna cut out the inside part of our TV. And then the silver foil is for that cute little antenna. There's two antennas here. This one is for just cutting it out of cardstock. This is if you're gonna stamp it, then you can uh, use that die to cut it out. All right, let me get my plates. And I think we can run all this through at the same time. All right, let's get our TV on here that our antenna our tv screen and make sure that's straight and run it through all right there's our tv the screen and last but not least the antenna, so cute. I think the antenna is my favorite part. <laughs> I don't know why. I sure don't miss having an antenna on my television. I could tell you that. I remember those days. But it's really cute and it makes it very retro. All right, before I glue this on, I'm going to stamp this sentiment, which is pretty funny, I think. It says, stay tuned for an important message. Let's get it nice and inked up. And we're going to stamp it right here. Now, you can, and you probably should, stamp first and then cut out with your die to make sure you've got it straight. Okay, adhesive. We're going to use just a little bit of adhesive there. And we're going to put that like that. And then I am going to get a little bit of glue, put my antenna on here. If you get your take your pick tool, pick that up. It helps a little bit. All right, now, how about some knobs? Let's add some knobs to our television. Um, there are die cut knobs you can add as well. But if you want the easy button, just get some of your little adhesive dots. These are the um, textured, adhesive textured dots, which are really kind of cool. All right, set that aside to dry. We need, oh, and you know what I just realized I forgot to do is stamp my lightning bolts. Before you put your box together, guys, you need to stamp your lightning bolts. Let's see if I can, if I can lay my box flat, I'll be able to stamp them. I think I can. We lay it like this. Okay, so don't be like me and forget, because the lightning bolts are really cute. I'm gonna put one up here like in the corner like that. And then I'm gonna put one kind of down here like that. Okay, now back
back to our regularly scheduled program. <laughs> that tape, good thing it hadn't set yet for me. All right, we'll put these back in. Don't try to stamp it with your box put together. I promise you it's not gonna work. Okay, now for our little piece of plaid uh, paper, I've got my sketched plaid background stamp and I'm gonna just stamp it in memento black. Get it nice and inked up. I love background stamps, they're so fun. Now we're just gonna use a little strip of this so you don't have to use a whole sheet of um, a whole half sheet like I have here. You can just use a partial sheet. All right, there we go. Take that off and let's get our trimmer. And you're just gonna trim a little section. I think my section is about, I don't know, maybe one and a half. No, that looks a little bit too wide. Let's see, one and a fourth. Yes, I think one and a fourth. And then let's just chop off the sides like that. If you have some black and white designer series paper, you could use that too. Let's see, how wide is that? Yeah, one and a fourth, okay. All right, dimensionals. And look, I've got this long strip left. I love using these long strip edges. I'm gonna put that kind of crooked like that. And then I'm gonna take another dimensional. Uh-oh, my antenna is really wonky. There we go, fix that. I'm gonna put that like that. And I'm gonna put my TV kind of over mm, like that. Okay, and then of course, let's add a bow. Our black and vanilla gingham, large check is what it's called, large check ribbon. And then we will snip and snip. Little mini glue dots. And we're gonna put that right there. Now I wanted to add a little bit of bling. So I pulled out these new um, iridescent faceted gems in the catalog. They look like they have blue and purple on them, but they don't. It's just that iridescent kind of look to it. Um, they're really, really neat. So I'm gonna add just a few, whoops. My take your pick tool will do its job. Looks like I need some more putty. And then I'm just gonna kind of scatter them around, sprinkle them around using different sizes. All right, I think that's good. I hope you guys enjoyed this project. The little um, jelly beans are so fun and such a unexpected treat that uh, we of course have to make a cute little box to go with it. All right, click the link here on YouTube, go back to my blog, get that free PDF, and check out my other tune-in projects. Thanks so much, everybody. Bye-bye.